if Scott can still do uh, up tilt to up beat. Because that is, I, I was told by him that it's true. At like 40 to 50%. It's true. It's like a tight window. Interesting. Uh, it's weird. Might, the problem with that is he's going to have to get out on Rob's zone. And then... Yep. Uh, and up tilt him. <laughs> so yeah. it's like... Have fun with that. So, I mean, Rob, uh, he has, like, all the zoning tools in the world. He has an amazing Nair uh, to fade back with and retreat. He has a great forward air, just great out of shield option. Gyro, of course. Yeah, Gyro, it's like, the second it's gone, it's like, here it comes. It's coming back. So I feel like it's going to be similar to a lot of, like, zoner versus, like, characters that can't really deal with zoner wall matchups, mm -hmm. where it's like, you have to take control of that gyro before you can, like, comfortably be like, okay, let's make my approach. You know? Yeah. And Scott's useless, too. I mean, like, he lives in a region where not a lot of these Rob-type characters, zoners, uh, you know, we, we have Raffi, but uh, I believe Scott actually beat him last time they played, so. Huh. And up air chains coming through. Tries to land with the Nair, well-spaced enough, but Dill. Catches the landing with the forward smash. Gonna see Scott recover here. Gonna be getting the recovery there. Just going for it right away. Dill predicting a little bit of delay there. Woo, two gonna frames. Yeah, it's there. gonna be it. Oh, that's it, yeah. Yeah, he did get uh, hit from below the stage, so no jump to be had. And <laughs> going for the up tilt, except. There he goes. Quick 30. <laughs> wow, yeah. Dill definitely gonna pad this lead, though. Like. Not gonna approach with anything. A lot of fade back nares we're probably gonna be seeing. Um, you know, get your conversions here and there, but you don't gotta commit to much. And Luigi cannot really kill you at this percent, barring a hard read. Mm. Yeah, and Dill's just playing that smart game right now. He, he's he's making that wall, and it's working so well. Like he's at him at ledge for what, like 10 seconds now? It's been a while, and Rob's ledge trapping is actually nothing to snuff, like nothing to scoff at. It is a uh, very up to par with some of the better characters in the game. Back throw to get him off stage, super smart. Goes for a down tilt. Okay. Just to get that stage control, I'm assuming, and it's I wonder, work out. I wonder how Cyclone would interact with um, Rob's landing there. Hmm. Well, Cyclone beats out a lot of stuff. Yeah, like because it's invincible on startup. Like, I can't up throw up our Luigi because of Cyclone. Uh-huh, as Inkling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, gets clipped by the uh, eye hitbox laser and dash tech. Fortunately, falls out. That might have killed. It's, uh, it's fairly strong in this game. Carry to not going to be killing off the top. I mean, town they started city, Town and City, kill. but like, man, it's kind of coming to bite Scott in the butt here. Yeah, it just seems like he's not getting the kills off the side that he's. Oh! <laughs> Undeckable. <laughs> I'm going home, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Peace out. This tournament's over. All right, and this could, uh, okay. I was going to say, this could be real bad for Dill because Scott definitely has those zero to deaths on deck. Yeah, they're super scary. Carrying the gyro to get rid of it. I like it. I feel like he's too eager to contest in the air right now. Oh. <laughs> I don't know how much that mattered. Uh, a little bit. It was kind of in a spot where it looked like it was kind of tricky to recover at it. Oh. Okay. 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 <laughs> Still just sign it off laughing. <laughs> hey, man. You know, parried Rob's there. Gotta, gotta look out for that if you made Rob, you know? Dude. Oh, stop. dude. Stop. <laughs> okay. I don't know if there is counterplay, uh, but I want to yeah. see it. <laughs> I think there. I think there's counterplay. There's just a, I just pray. a hunch. I would pray. I hope. We live with Raffy, dude. <laughs> yeah, for real. Raffy's just taking notes in the corner. Hmm. Scott does not like downward tilt. <laughs> <laughs> just lands on top of you with Nair for the 40th time, anyway. Okay, reads that preemptive jump out, but mm. Scott not biting with it. Actually, couldn't went for the up smash there because of the uh, lack of preemptive jump out. And the grab once again, we're gonna see. Oh, wowie. I feel like Scott's kind of trying to condition him at these higher percents to go for the instant, like, up smash. For sure. But Scott's gonna be at too high of a percent to, like, actually mash out. I yeah, think. exactly. Unless he, like, so super like, mashes. You know, it's gonna be a rough call. Uh, you basically just gotta play anti grab at this point. Mm hmm. Which is like fine, I guess, because you have fireballs, but Rob's zoning tools are just better than yours, so. Exactly. Okay. Scott, uh, double roll there, actually, recognizing he was in a really bad position and kind of panicked a little bit, but still just playing the safe game. Ooh. Scott, oh, well, okay. I love this air from Plunger Luigi. Fiesta. Yeah. People thought this move was useless, but I see a lot of Luigi's using it. It's pretty good. Like, I've seen Scott use Plunger in the air to try and get, like, upbeat and stuff like that. Nice air dodge from Scott, actually. Just getting back to the ground. All right, 170. Gonna have to survive the ledge trap here, and he does, but he gets forward air back off the stage. For Scott. And the air dodge. Wow, he barely lives it. 
What good spacing Scott's from Scott, actually. Kind of thing so frequently, though. Yeah, that's a problem. I, I feel like Dill's starting to catch on to it. He, he, he's... I feel like he kind of left that as, like, the final check. Like, he, he rolled back to, like, see if he was going to mix it up. Yep. That's also so easy to arm rotor. Okay. <laughs> okay, me. dude. RNG. All right, gets the roll that time. And oh, the laser sniper. is going to take it. And, yes, game one is going to go over to Dill with that yep. neutral B snipe right there. Yeah, uh, I mean, like, Dill, he did get that parry. Uh, he did get his neutral air parried into the uh, Luigi up B. Mm -hmm. But, you know, just staying calm, recognizing, like, hey, I don't have to uh, really, like, overextend. I don't have to commit. I'm not in any position. I'm still in the lead. Uh, so I'm not going to respect that. I'm not going to respect your uh, close-up game because mm -hmm. Luigi's far away game. Just keep him away. Yeah, and game two. Pokemon Pokemon I, I kind of agree with it. The top blast zones seemed what Scott was kind of missing in that game too. To be honest, like it seemed like it was what it seemed the first stock at least to be what was deterring him so much. I mean, Dill lived to such a late percent. I mean, Rob, for sure, big boy. But yeah, Rob is very heavy. So, I mean, you, you got to find those kills a little earlier though, man. Mm -hmm. Like that's that's gonna be the key here. I feel if Scott wants to make this work. Uh, just finding those early kills. Maybe getting a few more of those parries on those neutral airs. Yeah, game two. Yep. Pokemon Stadium, same characters. Let's see how it plays out. All right. Here we go. Luigi, Rob, once again, charging the gyro. Just get that neutral set up immediately. And oh, this could be it. No, just quick 83, though. Yeah, quick 83. I think Yo, we'll take it. Quick All right, Scott. Quick death. Yep. Well, it's been fun. Uh, Scott. Scott has absolutely entered. Uh, like, <laughs> he's popping off a little bit. Brain mode. He realized, like, hey, Rob's pretty heavy. Luigi can combo those guys pretty well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it took him a whole game. Yeah, it took him a game. Oh, but, oh but arm rotor. Still answering right jump? back. This is, no. Oh, he does. Yes, he kept I'm wrong. it. Being wrong on commentary is not good. <laughs> well, as Luigi, you got to keep that, you know? Yeah, true. So Scott, very well aware there. But these ledge traps are super deadly. Catches the gyro, actually. Okay, Ooh, missed going for it road. again. What are okay. you doing? The tech two. That was yeah, so great. Yeah, he teched the misfire and Wait, another tech chill. from Scott. Oh my god, this edge guard sequence from both players is absolutely phenomenal right now. That both. actually just felt straight out of Dragon Ball. <laughs> Yo, that was so good for Scott though. He got so much percent off of that. Oh, for sure. And the Zer oh, actually yeah. knocked away the gyro. Using Zer to kind of give him more space from the gyro. Super smart. I don't know if it was intentional or not, kind of protecting an approach, but it worked out in his favor and... If it wasn't intentional, he's definitely going to remember it. Yeah, he's definitely going to make utilization of that from now on. All right, Ooh, gets a greedy dash attack, but jumps out of shield. The second he gets out of shield. Yo, that's the, that's the classic, though, for ultimate. Uh, a lot of options are just really good jump out of shield. So if you can catch that, you'll be in a good position for taking some early stocks off your opponents. Mm. Scott's advantage state is so scary, dude. Oh, yeah. Like, it's like, to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with such a, a smart... Uh, such a strong character like Rob, what, uh, piloted by such a strong player like Dill. Yeah. It's just crazy. Yeah, like he, he is like, the thing about this matchup is once Luigi gets in, I feel like he can keep his hands on Rob quite well. Yeah, but it's just a battle of getting in. Like we see Scott going for a lot of Zare to grab. And the gyro back in play, gets three in a row. Yeah. Can we see four? No, he's going for a gyro up smash, I think. He, he lobbed gyro at ledge, predicting the neutral getup that we saw in game one. Right, Scott looking out. for these grabs. Ooh. Gonna dive this arm rotor. What a great neutral tech read from Dylan. Suddenly, stock piece. Scott with the control now. A ton of damage. We'll take it. Yep. It's like, what, 38%? Yeah. Like, that is a more optimal punish on a Rob Nair than you can, like, pretty much get anywhere else, mm -hmm. so. Gonna fall through with the Nair, yup, into the jab. The jab there, I like it. Didn't work out, but gonna go, yep. Imagine. That'd be crazy. He's good at it too, like, it, it's fe Very. totally feasible. It wasn't a fish in the water. Yikes. Alright. Sweating a little for Scott there. Uh, almost got two frame by that Rob down air. 98%, and oh. no! Oh, he didn't get the sweet spot. Everyone crowding around right now. Last hit situation for both players. What's going to happen? Nair going to be sending Scott off stage. 
Oh. So is fair. I think he's, he's still got jump, so it's really depending on what Dill does here. What's the ledge option? Are we going to see a game three, or is Dill going to take this oh, one? Oh, Scott's just choosing so many nervous habits right now. Oh, goes for the down B and just gets punished by the forward smash. Dill going to take that set 2-0 and move on to, what is it, top 48? Top 48 winners. Yeah, top 48 winners. Scott played that super smart. Both games he played super smart, but it, it felt like in both games, especially the second as we saw, he just kind of choked up.